Hey guys, Cassie here. So in this video, I'm gonna be super real and honest with you because we can get a little bit personal. A lot of you write in and ask me, Cassie, should I work out on my period? If you are not hurting and you feel good and totally normal, yes, of course work out while you're on your period. It helps with circulation and everything. However, if you're cramping and you're hurting, just take a moment to let your muscles relax. So why do you get cramps? Well, during your period, your body releases a hormone called prostaglandin, which actually attacks your uterus and makes it contract, and that's why you feel the cramps, and then you get bloating from the water retention and everything, and it totally feels nasty. Trust me, I hate it. But here are some at-home remedies that I actually do to make myself feel better. So the first thing you wanna do is apply heat. This is a tube sock that is filled with rice. What you wanna do is place this into the microwave for one minute, and then put it on your stomach. It's kind of like those rice heat pad aroma therapy things that you can buy at the mall kiosk, except way cheaper. The second thing is pretty obvious. You wanna be drinking tons of water. The reason why you get bloated is because you are retaining water, and that's a lot of time from eating a lot of sodium the week before. Um, so what you gotta do is drink water to flush water. Number three, eat a banana. Really simple because the potassium in them actually helps reduce the cramping. Actually, when I was in high school playing tennis, I would get these Charlie horses in my legs all the time. Coach would always feed me a banana and they've always worked. Number four, you wanna drink some tea. Not only will the water hydrate you, but that warmth also make you feel better. Chamomile is a great way to really relax the uterus. Another one is ginger tea, which also helps with that inflammation. Finally, exercise, obviously. However, if you are cramping and feeling really bad, don't do that. But even a light walk or some stretching will help you with that circulation, keep things moving, because remember, that stagnation helps with that cramping and it doesn't feel good. So really try to stretch out. Now, if you have no idea what to do, here is a really simple yoga-inspired stretching routine that I do when I get cramps or bloating on my period. Now, the first move you wanna do is called the rag doll. Go ahead and place the hands on the elbow and just relax right Right here, hang here, inhale through the nose, big exhale through the mouth. This whole thing is about letting go, forgetting that pain, and making your body feel better, right? You wanna hold that for about 30 seconds to a minute. Secondly, what I love doing, and it's also great for my legs too, is I'm gonna place my leg right here and go into a forward bend, point at the toe, and then just reach forward like this. Bring yourself up. Of course, you wanna do it on both sides. And then also, one that I really love too that makes me feel better, is I hold onto my leg right here and I extend it just like so. And I just hold, stretch a little bit, and come down. Now we're trying to open up the body, really relax the muscles, and slowly to make you feel good. We're gonna go into the camel. Now knees are gonna be hip width apart. I just want you to open up the hips, come back like so, take the other arm and place it here as well. And just hold. Open everything up. Then if you can, go ahead and take one hand over, just like so. Really opening up this line right here. Now this one feels really great. It's called the reclining angle. And all you have to do is lie down, feet together just like so in a butterfly, and slowly bring yourself back and just rest. Finally, you're gonna love this last move. It's called the wide child's pose. So grab a pillow, place it right in front of you. Make sure those knees are really wide, okay? And then all you have to do is flop over, nice and soft over your pillow, hug it, and relax. I hope you guys really enjoyed that stretch routine. Truly, it feels great and it works. Just give yourself some time to really relax those muscles. Now, what's in my gym bag during that time of the month? Well, let me tell you, and we're gonna get a little bit personal here. First of all, I carry around water, obviously. I love detox water filled with lemon, cucumber, orange, and mint to really flush out all the toxins in my body. And of course, it makes my skin look better and you know, when you're doing lots of cardio, you need to drink water anyway, so it's great for you. Secondly, I carry around a whole lot of tampons. I don't use pads because I did try using pads when I was younger and doing Pilates, and let's just say things got really messy and really nasty. So I have these Playtex Sport tampons here. They have a 360 um, protection design to make sure that everything stays in place. And also they have this FlexFit fiber, which allows it to move along with my body. And so when I'm doing hits or when I am doing leg lifts or whatever, Whatever, I feel safe. And that's really important because you don't want any crazy wardrobe malfunctions while you are working out because that is the last thing that you want to think about. So guys, I hope you really found this video to be helpful to you. Um, I want you to share with me some of your funny PMS symptoms like do you love eating ice cream? Do you start acting funny? Or if you have any weird period stories, use the hashtag that time of the month and let me know. So I will see you next time guys. Bye.